This video clip goes over lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, evaluate each expression with and without parentheses. Compare the results. And this lesson is going to show you what happens when we include parentheses in an expression and what happens when we don't. So let's go ahead and just see how these two come out first. So this first one, make sure you put your parentheses in there and put 5 plus 3. Close that parenthesis times 9 hit enter and we have 72 let's enter in the second one without the parentheses we have 5 plus 3 times 9 hit enter and we come out with 32 so let me show you what the calculator did on both of these expressions and this will show you why parentheses are important so on this first one if you do order of operations, the calculator will look inside the parentheses first. It will do the 5 plus 3, which is 8, and then multiply that by 9. 8 times 9 is 72. And that's what we came out with when we entered that in first. Now without the parentheses, remember the order of operations I mentioned in the paragraph above is PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So there's no parentheses in this expression, there's no exponents in this expression, so we go to multiplication, division, whichever comes first, and we have multiplication, 3 times 9. So the 5 stays right there, untouched, and we do the 3 times 9 is 27. So we have 5 plus 27, and that comes out to be the 32, which we have right there. So go ahead, do the rest of the lesson practice number one and lesson practice number two, and just be careful to enter in the expressions exactly the way they appear. This video clip goes over lesson practice number one from set two from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, evaluate each expression with and without the parentheses. Compare the results. So in the clip just before this one, we had expressions with just numbers in them. And we tested them out with parentheses and without, and we compared our answers. And this time, we're going to use functions that the, are found on the calculator and see what happens when we do not close our parentheses on them. So let's start off with the sine of 30. If I hit sine, type in 30. Now there's a degree symbol there, so I'm going to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. Hit math, or no, excuse me, hit mode. Go down, and my calculator is in degree mode. Make sure yours is. Quit. Now I'm going to close that parentheses on this first one. Plus 1. Hit enter, and I come out with 1.5. So let's type this in without closing the parentheses on our sine function. So if I hit sine, type in 30 not going to close the parentheses here, plus 1, hit enter, and you can see our answer is off. Well, it's different than the first one. So let's write that down. So we had 1.5 for this first one, and then we had 0 0.51503 80749 for that second one. So go ahead and finish lesson practice number one and lesson practice number two. And just be sure to type in the expression exactly the way it appears with the parentheses and without the parentheses and compare your answers.